Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Matthew Mumbles. My name is Matthew, and on this podcast show, we pretty much talk about whatever we want to talk about. It could be my life stories, my life events, things I'm interested in, things happening right now in the world, etc. Today, I want to start something new. I touched base on Hilda uh, previously, but I decided why not go through all of the episodes in order one by one. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I want to flesh out my overall thoughts on the series a bit better than talking about it in one coherent video. And two, I also just want to pump out more Hilda videos because if anyone does not know, behind the scenes, I am a massive Hilda fan, okay? I think like as far as uh, interests go, this is like one of my biggest right now. Like, I am, I want to watch, like, the, re-watch the entirety of the show. I binge-watched season one and two and then the movie all in one setting before season three came out. So, I mean, hey, if that doesn't prove I'm a Hilda fan, then no, I'm not, I don't have merch of it yet. Don't worry, I probably will, hopefully, because I hear that the, uh, license, uh, licensee or whatever, the producer who actually, like, makes the, the Hilda merch drop the license or something. Um, but, well, whatever. Today we're going to be talking about episode one, or chapter one, The Hidden People, which I just, again, rewatched it, and I think that this episode is a fantastic introduction to what we have. It's a very, not, I don't want to use the word calm nature but it has calm nature into it when it needs to you know like get going and kind of get a little bit intense like for example when the elves invade the house that's like when it like really gets going but it sets you into this amazing fantasy like world and you know it's just it really sets the mood really well that's something a lot of tv shows i feel like don't do they set the mood wrong especially in their first episode this one sets it up just right. It introduces us to Hilda and Twig, and then gets us introduced to the trolls and like what their deal is, and you know how the humans perceive the trolls. And eventually, it's shown that you know the trolls have a, I guess, a weakness to bells. And honestly, showing that Hilda actually helping the trolls after figuring out what was going on with that certain troll, uh, troll, honestly, really shows the amount of humanity and uh, charism that Hilda actually has towards, you know, even the creatures that may threaten her existence, or at least so think. And even after what seemed like she was going to get killed by the troll, nope, it just turns out that the troll was just handing her uh, her sketchbook. That was honestly amazing. I also got to commend the animators on this. The I'm going to be talking about the animation a lot because... The animation in Hilda is purely eye candy. I cannot think of another animated show I have seen that looks this pretty. It it uses a very certain type of color palette. And it honestly just looks so laid back. It doesn't rely on, you know, like these super sci-fi machinery elements that you'd find in like other type of media. This is like very again very fantasy like it's very very gorgeous and i honestly say that the animation is probably one of the main highlights of hilda that's definitely like one of the biggest biggest things about hilda i will say we also get introduced to joanna one of the uh characters on hilda who's hilda's mother and of course joanna in this episode doesn't really have much of a super super main role but The story is that after the elves pretty much ransack the place, they're thinking about moving to uh, Trollsburg, which Hilda does not, being, you know, a mainly invested in nature kind of person. And, you know, I can see that. Personally, I've wanted to be more of a nature person for a long time now. And, uh, honestly, I say, like, living in the wilderness, of course, depending on your situation, could be rather great. I say, at least. Unfortunately, the elves don't think that way. (laughs) So, basically, um, Hilda goes face-to-face with uh, another elf who goes by the name of Alpha. 
and Alpha pretty much gets Hilda to sign some paperwork, and uh, that's when Hilda isn't able to actually see everybody. And from there, they pretty much go on this bit of a quest to try and stop the elves and pretty much get them to live in peace with Hilda and Joanna. And, you know, of course, like, the whole reason is perfectly valid. I mean, they didn't even see them up until that point. And, like, what would you do if you got, like, this tiny little letter on your front porch? Chances are you're probably just going to treat it like an absolute joke until the joke ends up firing at you and then you turn out to be the joke. <laughs> so, I really love how they make it so... It's something you don't realize right away. Of course, you can't really see it until it's actually there. And talking about the overall characters and, you know, there's a lot that goes into the overall series. But for episode one, of course, they dial back the characters because, you know, you can't introduce everything at once right away. And this is honestly one of my favorite parts about it is that there's not like a lot of characters you follow throughout this one episode in fact it's mainly just three for the majority of it there's hilda twig and alpha and they go on to this bit of a quest to find the mayor and then the mayor guides them to the prime minister and from there it kind of leads into episode two uh the midnight giant which we'll talk about next time and honestly again that's kind of where it ends so it's definitely like a show that you binge watch or are at least supposed to in that you want to like experience the story as it folds out. But we're going to go one by one with these. So again, overall, what do I think of the episode? Great introduction. I love the music. I love the tone. I love the settings. I love the characters, the story that it overall presents. And I overall love the elements. There's nothing I really don't like here. Honestly, like... Again, I could say maybe that it's because, like, it has no, um, it does kind of ends abruptly, but that's only just to really lead into the next episode, so I can't really fault it. <laughs> so, honestly, I say that episode one is a fantastic episode and a great introduction to Hilda. And if you want to watch Hilda, it's on Netflix right now, all three uh, seasons and the movie, so... Definitely give that a look. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Believe in Jesus. Accept the man as Lord and Savior today. Spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. God bless.